Welcome my friends. First off, I'm gonna show you how I found out what hub I do have at the front. This is my bike, uh, E120 800, my yellow B, different color. Uh, and then here in the description hubs, I've got the Shimano Diori at the rear, which I already uh, did uh, show you the overhauling. And then the front one is Joytech D791SB. I was afraid uh, it, was just, it would just say Merida, so that's good. And then you just Google this and you will see that the Joytech is uh, actually the Novatech. And then uh, when you write Novatech D7 blah 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 uh, service, uh, you're gonna find at least uh, some uh, good uh, PDF pictures of that. Let's just say uh, service. Mm -hmm. And then on the end guide, you're gonna see how it looks like and then you are sure this is uh, your actual uh, hub. It says no tools required, you do need some tools. I was hoping to see some manual, there was none, but this is this here is enough for us to, to see. Okay, that's how I found out this is my hub. Alright, as you required, I'm gonna do a voiceover for you. So I'm just using a screwdriver and this is how you can actually grab the the cap and the busher there that's actually the the most uh, important part of this video i didn't know how to remove it i was trying different uh, stuff you can see it's a little bit scratched this is the on the right side the end cap on the left side the busher with the o-ring that's it very easy uh, as i found out it seals up very well and so the the uh, bearing there is great so inspect the bearings see how they turn if they turn fine don't open those you don't want to open the, um, uh, the bearing you can always damage a little bit the, the seal so this is the other side and the other side is exact the same uh, thing so same exact um, ring and uh, and the busher uh, it's actually end cap and, and the busher uh, you see, this is how it goes out. A little bit on one side, a little bit on the other side, and it's done. The bearing on the other side is also super clean. I felt some dirt, but it was actually between the busher and the end cap, so uh, the bearing doesn't need to be replaced. Uh, if it's okay, don't try to push there any oil, any, any grease inside the bearing. Just leave it. Here are the parts. This is the end cap and inside there you can see the o-ring i'm gonna show you that it wouldn't be actually easy to remove one but uh, it, it would be very unlikely for you that you need to to replace one so i don't have a pick i'm just using my old good uh, knife it's just okay leave it just clean it well have it clean there was some dust there and also this one here this, that's the o-ring on the busher uh, and they too, they work good. I'm just using uh, like basic grease, Shimano grease, uh, putting a little bit of grease on these uh, O-rings. I'm not sure uh, originally it was there. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Uh, I'm gonna only put uh, the grease on the on the on the O-rings. I know it's not a suspension, but um, it's gonna it's gonna spin nicely. And everything from outside is uh, going to be clean and dry. A little bit of, of grease here as well. Um, it's always additional uh, sealant against the water. Just make sure nothing is on the outer side so that no, no dirt will stick to the grease. From the outer side we want to have everything clean. Now we just put it back and then uh, we're gonna push it uh, to the hub shell. I'm using uh, just the bottom bracket uh, tool. You can use like a, a mullet and, and uh, just hit it a little bit from each side, uh, little by little it would go in. It doesn't require a lot of, a lot of force. So this was pretty easy. Just, just make sure it is uh, um, well in its place. This is the other side. Boom, boom, boom. It took me less than a minute to do it. And now we have uh, these... Uh, oh, I didn't show you, I think, how to remove these. These was the first ones. Uh, so these are the uh, the rings that come onto it. 
and it's easy so very easy job with these uh, these hubs uh, I was surprised that the bearings actually uh, were were doing so good so removing this you will just use um, also a screwdriver and and uh, pick it up a little bit it doesn't require require an, a lot of force also the axle from the uh, actually there is no axle there's a busher there inner busher uh, I'm gonna also keep it uh, dry and that's it it's it's cool remember to degrease uh, the uh, the rotor of your disc brake if there was one uh, because uh, you don't want to have any grease on it when you start the brake. That's it, guys. Uh, do you have any any questions, any requirements uh, of other parts? Let me know. See ya. This is a Chucky Beat production. production. production.